Well, today marks two years since the fire at the former BP Husky oil refinery in Oregon, killing two brothers, Max and Ben Morrissey, a loss to their families and the whole community at large. Andre Norrells, he joins us live from outside the United Steelworkers local 346 in East Toledo. So Andre, talk to us a little bit about what they were doing there tonight. Yeah, Jeff, friends, family and union family members all gathered here at the Union Hall to remember Max and Ben. And while the incident happened two years ago today, to some, it feels like it was just yesterday. It was a tragic day. It is a day that I will always remember personally. Stephanie Calderon is not only the vice president of USW Local 346, but also works at the oil refinery and is a part of the fire team. It was all training that we fought, so that was for me my first real fire. While the fire eventually ended, it took the lives of two brothers with it, Ben and Max Morrissey, leaving behind their wives and kids. Last year, we sat down with Max's wife, Dara. Max was like super dad. I mean, he was there for everything. And Ben's wife, Katie. Uh, we met in Mexico at Max and Dara's wedding. Talking about how 365 days had passed then, now, another year gone by. We have to honor them and keep their memory out there at all times. Since their deaths, yes, there's do. been fundraisers for the family, golf outings, and a memorial stone placed in front of the Union Hall, a way to always remember who the Morrisseys were. We do a lot of things to help the community, and we give back as much or more now than we did before because of this, realizing that there's always people that need assistance. President of the local union, Jim Witt, says this incident changed him as a worker at the refinery and as the union leader. Witt says the union is working with Synovus Energy, the company that now owns the plant, to establish a stop work authority. That gives the operators and maintenance the ability to stop a job that they feel is unsafe, which is our biggest prevention, the largest thing we can do that we have control over to prevent another accident.